Hi guys, this is Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. And I have another DIY fun uh, trick for you today that maybe, maybe you want to try out. So the other day, Hallie and I were talking about tissue tape, washi tape. And she mentioned um, this really cheap, inexpensive tape you can get. I think you can get it at the dollar store. You can get it at any pharmacy. It's, um, it's bandage tape. It's medical. It's paper tape. So it comes, I haven't found it in anything but one inch rolls. But it's super, super, super cheap. It's like super cheap. Did I say that? Super duper cheap? So let me let me explain let me explain what I did to try out this experiment. I just took a piece of craft cardstock and then I cut a piece of parchment paper that fit it, you know, almost exactly here. And then I stapled them together at all four corners just to keep everything nice and and secure. Then I took my paper tape and and of course there's this this blue strip at the end that tells you where to, where to start. And since these are eight and a half inches uh, wide here, um, you're going to get eight eight rows of this tape if you start about oh, a quarter inch down. And then I just rip it off. And that's what I did and I tried not to leave too much of a gap between the rows of tape and it doesn't want to stick to the parchment paper too horribly much but that that's a good thing actually because um, I tried sticking it to other things and it just stuck too well and then it just ruined everything after after I was done with it okay so let's make our own tissue tape out of this, our own washi tape. And so I've got eight rows here. And I did some experimenting and there are certain inks that work better than others. Um, distress inks, they do work, but they, you don't get a nice, clear, clean image. So um, I kind of put that aside and I tried something else. Uh, these stays on inks, these are all these are all stays on inks. Um, these work great. These work great and they don't smudge. You would think that this is just paper paper, but I guess it's not. It must have some kind of a some kind of a coating on it or something. So not just any ink will stay. But the stays on inks do a really, really nice job. And so um, what I like is I took, as you can see, I've been using a lot of stays on. I don't even know how to get all that off. So I put this stamp on the back of one of my blocks and I opened up, this is just the brown stays on. Timber brown, I think is what it's called. And I just started stamping all over. And what's kind of cool, here, let me grab a, I'm stamping my, my, uh, you know, this thing, this thing. Um, so what's kind of cool is that as you're stamping along, stamp a couple of times um, when there's not as much ink on your, on your stamp, and then, um, then it looks like there's some leaves in the in the background. It looks like not everything is reaching out and grabbing yet. It's, it's um, some of it's in in the lighter muted branches in in the background. And I really like that look. I like the layered the layered look. So look how pretty that is. And then that is two rows of tape right there that you can use. And then you can always go over the top of it, if you'd like, with other colors of stays on. So you can build, you can build on top of, of what you've already done with other colors. And I think, I think that kind of looks cool. Um, for example, 
Here is, um, I used, where's my, hold on, hold on. I, don't, I must have put it in the other room. So I have these little, these little teeny tiny leaf stamps. And, you know, if you just grab another color, here's Claret. And you can just kind of stamp some pretty little leaf shapes. I've got, I've got, it came in a set of three little falling leaves. Um, Michaels was having a sale on um, on all their stamping stuff, and then they had a 25% off everything on top of that. So it was kind of nice. <laughs> so I was able to get a few things that I normally would not would not buy. And oh, this one's pretty. It's called Gothic Purple. It's kind of a Normally these are super expensive. I'm like, oh, I'm not paying that kind of money, but when they were, you know, 65% off, <laughs> then you can, you know, you can think about maybe investing in some. So anyway, so I will stop playing with that. <laughs> so there we go. And you can see the leaf shapes on, on top of the branches. So you can get as crazy as you want with that. Um, the stays on doesn't smear. Let it let it sit for a minute. And let it totally. You can even put a hair dryer over the top of it to help it to help it stick. Another thing that you can use is um, just a regular sharpie. So let's say you wanted to make um, your own washi tape to sign something to have your signature on it. Um, whether it's for a gift package or a book, you can absolutely use a Sharpie. Of course, I just mi misspelled. <laughs> I put Nick Booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I do that sometimes. Sometimes I will, I will start something and then I'll end it without putting the middle in because that, that's, yeah, anyway. Let's try my whole name. <laughs> And you don't have to write this big, but this stays. So that will stay on there. There are different colors, of course, of Sharpie markers. You can get permanent um, metallic, all kinds of beautiful colors in Sharpie. You can draw, you can sign your name, whatever it is that you'd like to do, and that will stick. See, no, no smearage. So that is a good one as well. Another thing that you can do, um, these worked okay. So that while the Distress Ink didn't work that great, the Ranger all-purpose ones did okay. They did okay. So it wasn't a really um, strong image, like, uh, I'll show you. It wasn't real dark. I mean, it's not, it's not bad though. And um, I don't touch it right away. I try not to touch it right away, but it's a nice muted look and you can heat set these. <laughs> this is my husband's heat gun. What does a guy do with a heat gun? I don't even know what he does with this, but that's why I haven't bought one of my own because he has one. I don't think he ever uses it. So um, if, I, if I plug it in, it works great. But you really gotta plug them in for them to actually do anything. So, just give it a little bit of a, of a heat. Don't get too crazy because you can hurt your, um, the adhesive on the back of the tape, but you really gotta heat set that and let it totally dry. <laughs> Another thing that is super cool and works like really, really well is if you use pigment ink and, um, I got these, you can get these all kinds of places. I think I got these at Tuesday morning, but you can get them anywhere. And pigment inks are thicker and creamier and they take longer to dry. So let me show you what I did. Was, let's just take one of these colors. It, do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what color you're gonna take actually. So just get a color that you can see and I'm just gonna take this stamp and oh, let's do it here. And just stamp a few wherever you 
whatever floats your boat, you know. Let's go ahead and do them all, I guess. So, and this is going to take a minute to dry, but that's good because now you can grab some embossing powder and we're just going to sprinkle that over the top just like you would if you were using like real embossing powder and then I'm going to I should have trimmed off the edges of that then I'm going to just turn it upside down I'm going to take the back of a You know how this stuff can stick. So this is the thing about this paper tape is it likes to grab on to um, the little extra pieces. So it so FYI, it actually looks kind of cool if you leave those. It kind of makes the um, it makes the image a little uh, I don't know like it's not perfect. I don't even know how to say it. But the paper tape, I think it might be static electricity more than anything. So just take your brush and wipe away anything that you don't you don't want. And give it a nice tap on the back and you'll get most of it off. It's um you know. And then I'll set this aside because I don't want I don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose it. Okay, and then of course you just take your heat gun, and again, just do it enough to um, emboss your powder, but not enough to, you know, damage your, damage your tape. So anyway, I'll stop rambling. Okay, and there we go. Now we have embossed tissue tape. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that awesome? So think of all the things that you could do with that. <laughs> so um, once this dries, you want to be real careful with it until it until it dries. But anyway, I kind of like the look of the extra powder around it because the tissue tape is white. And so this kind of vintages, vintage, vintages it up. <laughs> it distresses it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that is like a super cool thing. Then Hallie says, don't forget about the planner people. So, okay, I'm not gonna forget about the planner people. I have um, some stamps that I got for like nearly nothing and they have all the days of the week and they've got, um, they've got like to-do thing, you know, where you can type to-do lists and you know, all the planning stuff. So it would be cool to go ahead and stamp some of your, um, here, this is, this is what it is. Go ahead and stamp some tape ahead of time so that you have some washi tape to um, put in your, in your planners. This one says goals. And then you can just rip those out and put those in your planner however you like. So I thought that would be fun as well. Um, this one says today. Of course, you, you, you guys probably have all these. Like I said, I don't have very many stamps. So um, I have more ink than I do than I do stamps. So anyway, that's what the stays on. And um, there we go. And then you can rip those out. With the smaller ones, you could probably even go like down this way if you wanted. Okay, so I thought that was that was cool. And um, this ink also works as well. It is this is the color box mixed media ink, and I've got like um, I've got this midnight blue I've got this olive and then I've got the cocoa brown and these do work as well too but you have to really let them dry and not mess with them while they're while they're drying and then heat set it if you think that um, if you think it might smear because a lot of inks you can ink you can heat set and it will help them to become um, 
more more waterproof. This one, the mixed media. So on the back, it does say right up there to heat set it if you want it to be waterproof. So I'm assuming that that would be unsmearable. So let me show you the difference. Um, I stopped it for a second so I could show you. So this is with, this is when we just did the embossing powder, right? And so a little trick that I just tried out and because I thought, well, I'll just try this so I could tell you now instead of in a different video. If you take your clear matte sealer and you give the tape the slightest, just a nice little spritzy little mist, you, it doesn't have to be, don't saturate it, just a nice little mist, then look how the embossing turns out. Much less, oh, maybe I'm too close, much less of the excess um, little sprinkles than up here. See the difference? See how it's much, much less. Also another thing that I noticed is that by giving it a spritz first, you can absolutely use these cheaper ink pads because look how beautiful those came out. And that's just with that Ranger all-purpose ink. And that's what it looked like before, so much lighter. Look how nice and deep and no smearing. So, um, yeah, so clear matte sealer is your friend for base coating things so that things stamp better. And then also if you needed to go over them to seal them in. So um, just a little, a little cheap tip. So I know you're probably thinking, as, as did I, so can you make up a page full of these? You wouldn't be able to staple them. You would have to use maybe double-sided sticky tape, which I did, to make sure that the, um, the parchment paper sticks down to the, to the craft card. So can you put these through a printer? And so I'm going to give you a yes and no answer. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But would I? Probably not my home printer. And I used a laser jet, but it kind of dirties up your drum. So just be aware of that. I, I did make sheets of these, as you can see. And then I printed out with some of my um, Photoshop brushes. So like, look at this one. So I've got up here, I've got some um, dictionary, uh, you know, entries. This one is a, a whole, a whole string of medical uh, illustrations, and there is some, you know, octopi. And then I did a whole row of these <laughs> adorable little library cards with Edgar Allan Poe, the Raven. Mm -mm -mm, so yeah. And then this one's all botanicals, mushrooms, and then little vintagey things down at the bottom. And then because because I could. I printed out Nick the Booksmith, but this is the thing. So this is the thing about doing it this way. You kind of have to have some Photoshop skills because you have to know where to print each inch. If you're going to keep them in each inch, you have to you have to know how to diagram that out. And um, so this might not be for everybody. Um, this one I did not put them in one one little inch increments. I just kind of haphazard did everything all over. And so that when I peel off the tape, you'll just have bits and pieces of things all over. Um, so, so yeah. Another thing that's great about using the parchment paper on the cardstock is that this is how you can store it. So you can just leave it on, on here and then peel off what you want when you want to use it. So let's say that I wanted to peel off, well, let's peel off one of these. Let's peel off one of these. And let's say I wanted to use some in a, in a book. I gotta find the end first. That's the one thing, there we go. So here's, here's the edge. And here is, here's my tissue tape. I guess I don't need the whole row, do I? We'll just peel off some of it. There we go. And there is my there is my tissue tape with my little I'm on camera with my little vintagey things on it. But this is a nice place to keep them nice and safe is here on on the um, 
on the thing. Another thing about using a laser printer is you most definitely have to give it a spritz of this because the toner will, um, it doesn't smear horrible, horrible, but it does smear. So I would give it a light spritz of the uh, clear matte sealer just so, to keep that toner sealed into the tape and um, then you can use it a little bit easier. So I think, I think that's it. I think that's it. And I know you guys will think of lots of other things to do. You will think of all kinds of adaptations for your own use and your own circumstances. And so um, let me know. Let me know what you do with this incredible medical paper tape um, that Hallie said, yeah, I think you can make tissue tape out of that. And so, yeah. Yeah, we can. So thank you, Hallie. Um, you rock. And I hope everybody tries the embossing technique because I think that's super cool. Super, super cool. Let me peel one off here. And if you have specialty stamps with your name on them, you could emboss your name or your, come on, come on, come on camera. You could emboss your name or your journal, um, company or your, you know, whatever company it is. Oh, it's so pretty. If you do a lot of like pen palling, could you imagine using this with something cute and personalized to tape on the outside of your packages and your letters to people and just so many, all the things, all the things. Um, so yeah, please do this and please let me know what it is that you would like to, um, to try. If there's anything that maybe I didn't think of, which I'm sure there's lots of things I didn't think of, but you know what I mean. All right, guys, thank you for um, playing with me today in this little DIY fun, fun day. And um, I will be catching you guys very, very soon, um, hopefully with a journal share. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.